this is your boy Brown Billy back again with yet another video for you guys for my 2017 Ford Mustang EcoBoost. Today we're going to go through the dashboard settings and the features that come with the 2017 Ford Mustang EcoBoost and the GT model. So let's get started. As you can see, my car is switched off at the moment, so I'm just going to switch it on. And you can see the dashboard console there. We're gonna go through the settings one by one. So this is the screen that you get when you first switch your car on. The first option that you get is the engine information. I'm just gonna zoom it up for you guys. So if I go under engine info, I could see the gauge summary, which contains air fuel ratio. If I go into that, there's the air fuel ratio for you guys. Now if I go back into the second setting, which is the boost vacuum, there you go, it gives you a pretty idea of uh, what your boost vacuum is in the car right now. Third option is cylinder head temperature, which is currently at 90 degrees because I've been driving this car for an hour. Option number four is inlet air temperature, which is 38 degrees at the moment and oil pressure is set to normal right now. And the oil temperature is currently normal, even though I've driven it for an hour. It's pretty, pretty decent. We've got transmission oil temperature as well. Pretty nice, pretty normal. Battery voltage at the moment is sitting at 13.4. And if I sort of scroll down, it shows me distance to empty. Shows me tire pressure, which is pretty cool. And that's option number one. Let me go back to the main screen again. We look at the trip computer fuel summary. So the very first option shows you on the top left hand corner is the, is the amount of time I've, I've been driving this car for, which has been 48 minutes so far. Top right hand corner tells me how many kilometers are left on the on the car before it's, it hits empty, which is 99 kilometers. The third um, field, which is the top, which is the bottom left-hand corner, shows me how many kilometers I've driven so far since the last reset. And the bottom right-hand corner shows me the average kilometers per liter, which is 13.5. It's quite decent because I've I've only done highway kilometers on it so far. You can see down the bottom, it shows how many kilometers has this car done in total, which is 2,771 kilometers. And that's in one month, by the way. If I scroll down, trip computer number two shows me the total amount of time this car has been driven. Um, and the number of kilometers to, hit, to empty. And the third quarter shows me how many kilometers I've driven since last reset and the fourth is the actual average since I've driven it um, which is 2313 kilometers so it's pretty nice pretty decent um, consumption of fuel as compared to a V8 GT if I scroll down it gives me a fuel economy of course you won't be able to see the gauge move because I'm not driving the car right now if I scroll down it shows me the last 30 minutes fuel average which is 9.1 kilometers, quite good. I can, if I hold OK, I can reset that setting. And the average speed so far, which was within the, next, the, the last 30 minutes, was 37 kilometers per hour. Again, I can reset that speed. Now, if I go back to option number three, which is track apps, this these settings are designed specifically for, for a track. So when I hit the track for racing, I can check my accelerometer, I can track my acceleration time, zero to 100, automatic start, just says press OK to begin, and it's gonna calculate all those tests for me. Of course, I'm not driving right now, so you guys won't be able to see that. I can track brake performance. There's a lap timer there, which I can use and I can see my previous results if I want to. Again, I've never used it so far, so there won't be any results there. 
If we get back to the main menu, we can go to driver assist. You can take the auto engine off. You can also enable and disable the rear park pilot. And you can monitor the tire pressure. If I press OK to reset, you can go back to the main menu and check your tire pressure again. Now the main part of this this feature is the settings. Now this is the fun part. If I go in the settings, I can look at my vehicle settings. Now I get the alarm system. Ask on exit. So let's say if the car is running and I get out of the car, cl close the main door, it's going to beep at me and notify me that the car engine is still on. Go back to lighting, hand lamp delay. It is, you can either set it to off, 10 seconds, 20 seconds, or 120 seconds. That means when I switch off my car and get out of the car and I've locked it, currently it's set to 20 seconds, so the car lights, the headlights would stay on for 20 seconds. I go back, locks, if you can disable or enable auto unlock, miss locks, you got relock option, unlocking, all doors, the driver doors, you can switch in a bit and go back to oil life reset now I'd recommend not to touch this and I've just mistakenly reset it myself this is normally reset by your service engineers or your mechanics when they service your car windows you can use global open so you you hold your unlock key your unlock button on your key for 10 seconds and all your windows will, will go down wipers you can enable or disable a courtesy wipe whenever you start your car your your wipers will spin once and you can enable or disable rain sensing meaning you know when it's raining your wipers will automatically detect it and just start running now those were the vehicle settings my color is where you can reset or you can customize your gauges you can customize your ambient lighting your car lighting pretty much so let's start with the gauge color as you can see my gauge color is currently set to red now I'm just gonna choose a different color let's say orange you won't see a big difference from red to orange so let's start blue as you can see the gauge color has now changed to blue now you've got red you've got orange you've got purple you have green which is quite nice you have general white you have ice blue and then you can set you can customize these three colors which is called my color I normally like red color so I'll leave it at that let's go back and set our ambient lighting the ambient light is the light that's next to your door opener here which is currently set to red and also your cup holders that can be changed as well along with the ambient lighting and there's also some lighting down under the seats I'm not sure if you guys are able to see it but there is some red lighting I can show you right there see my shoe now if I go back to the settings again I change ambient light ambient dim I've, I've set it to high which is you know brighter light so you can see down there if I set it to low you can see it just dims it a little bit so I'll set it back to high again and if you go back again go to the ambient color you can see different types of colors there to choose from I've chosen red so let me go and change that and show you a different color which is orange bit of difference there it'd be hard to, hard to distinguish so we'll go back to the main settings and we'll change it to blue and as you can see the light on the door handles has now changed to blue and so is the light in the cup holders which is now blue if I change it back to let's say green which is quite nice when it's dark 
be able to see all green lighting here under the cup holders green light on the door handles and green light under the car under the mats so as you can see my shoe is now green I can go back in again and change that to blue which I like now you got different options you could you can choose from red orange blue purple green white and ice blue let's go back to settings set my color which is again another feature you can use display settings the measuring unit you can choose from I've chosen kilometers per liter because I'm in Australia you can choose liter per hundred kilometers or miles per gallon if you are in US temperature unit can be set to either Celsius or Fahrenheit you got tire pressure you choose from PSI KPA or bar and the language again I've chosen English Australia you can choose English Australia or English UK so that's it for today guys those are the features of a 2017 Ford Mustang EcoBoost I hope you like this video if you like it please subscribe and like my video I'll be uploading some more video regarding the features that we have on the 2017 Ford Mustang EcoBoost thanks for watching and ciao